A warm evening welcome from both of us. We Good evening all. Uh, a warm evening welcome um, from myself, Chandrasekhar and Ram Babu. Both together will be presenting this. Uh, transforming practices, which is the stepping stones of excellent journey, what we have been practicing in last two decades. Uh, as a standard good practice in our organization, before starting any presentation, we start with a safety pass. Uh, this forum, I want to utilize that 30 seconds time to have a thought tips for you all. Uh, may I now request you to join your fingers, both index fingers like this, and then see me. If anyone can see the third finger in between your two index fingers, that's it. I will come back to this at the end of the last, last slide in my presentation. So you will be in a position to see a third finger in between two index fingers. When we start for when any industry start for a improvement initiative, that first decision is which is the right strategy to adopt. We go for TPM or TKM, Kaizen, world-class manufacturing, lean manufacturing, so many things are there. The approaches may be the same, but the terminology, whatever we use and the right tools, selecting that is a critical that when the challenges of individual industries are different and then or we go for a flavor of the month approach with whatever is good and best tested and uh, proven today, we will go on adapting and then taking it away. In that case, our visionary leadership that time in 2002 guided us and supported that the man-machine interface is the driving force for us to improve upon overall. So the entire thing, taking all the best practices of all concepts available in the market, we will be focusing more on the man-machine interface where the efficiency of man and people and assets are improved. So having done that, so I will be talking about these four people when the people development is done, where they will take the motivated team members, take care of assets, and then when the assets are ready and then operating at a higher efficiencies, the processes are standardized and simplified. When these three are set and aligned my overall efficiency are becoming to a world-class level. Then the technology is introduced and the technology gives some more new innovations. And then again, the learning process starts, technology comes back to people. We will be moving around. With that, the four levels of customized version of our roadmap has been developed by us. The first two levels are the basic levels, which talks about introductory and then standardizing model. And then the second, uh, third and fourth of advanced level, which talks about building capability and achieving the best in class. So the basic level talks about the building basic conditions and building stability. This is through employee involvement initially and then slowly converting those involvement into engagement. So how are we going to involve the people, the entire unit, and engage them in an innovative culture? When this is done in level one and level two, or the basic level is completed, we move ahead to the advanced level, which is level three and four, which talks about innovation and empowerment. Finally, the TPM philosophy, whatever we call, is talking about the empowerment, self-discipline, autonomous maintenance, all those things. But there, the set of activities which is given here, which I am not going to read, it is available in the net. This talks about the results when we talk First I said the people improvement will be done. Here the results come, the change in equipment first, and then moving on to the elimination, um, the change in operator comes next. When the people and um, operators changes is there, then finally the shop floor and the entire department change is achieved, which turns the entire organization, the cultural change. Having done this basic 
detailed roadmap of the excellent journey in four levels. Uh, the review mechanism along with the excellence structure is built in wherein the entire unit is conceptually made the PBU concept which is the differentiation normal industry which have is normally the functions of engineering process and the maintenance team. Now that structure is changed each department here we call that department as daily management team has been empowered to do and take their activities of maintenance, process, mechanical, electrical instrumentation, including the process in one particular DMT, which is a concept which helped us in moving faster way in this journey. The review mechanism is set daily meetings at GH level, the DMT shop floor level, and the daily management level. And the weekly support from the pillars are given for the knowledge sharing and the EMC reviews on monthly basis. This is the overall snapshot of our journey last 20 years. In 2000, we started with fires and QCC, all those things. In phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, whatever I have shown in that um, roadmap. Slowly, we started 2002, 6, 9, 11. And in 18, we introduced move on to industry 4.0, where the IoT, COE, center of excellence is formed, and then data analytics introduced. Finally, we are now going digital in last two years. Rigorously, we are moving on digital transformation. Historian, the PCOE concept process center of excellence is introduced there. Now, I am coming back to that roadmap slide. This gives an overall uh, difference in scenario of ASIS where the industry will grow and if we follow the excellence practices, where we will go. The level one and level two completion, basic level, that is the point of no return. When any industry followed that, and cross this level two. That is the point of no return where we can say uh, the sustenance is very easy and then there on the integration and innovation empowerment comes in picture. So if we go by this one to two percent at level one, the results of overall annualized benefit as the percentage of turnover is possible to achieve. When we move on to level two, three to four percent. And then finally at the level three end, we should be at six to eight and then eight to 10 percent of overall benefits, we should be achieving that. In this presentation, I will be talking about these four elements, people involvement and capability build building with the asset utilization and the process optimization. There are some examples in this asset utilization process optimization, which we will be elaborating. Going, moving ahead, the prop, people involvement, the ownership concept is brought first. That means one who is the closest to the equipment or the processes and services knows the same better than anybody else. That is the idea where the entire 12,000 equipments in our industry, in our unit, has been allotted as ownership to that 7,000 odd manpower and then such uh, boards, my mission concept, my area, my adapter area, those type of boards have been displayed to motivate them. This brings them to a a sense of ownership and then they started doing that checks of routine management which is the basic starting point for any improvement journey. Next comes the support for the team members where the DMTs, the daily management teams as well as the pillar structure of TPM what is recommended have been woven and then the responsibilities are clearly defined between the members and the pillar managers. Now with this structure is ready, now the goals has to be aligned with the divisional level, functional level and they have to be transformed to the individual JHS and DMTs level, which is done through the X matrix or goal deployment, A3 deployment, whatever tool you name. That is being practiced and then every year it is getting updated and continuously revised, reviewed in the weekly and monthly meetings. To have this journey smoother, we need a software support uh, to handle the data what we are going to generate. So for that, uh, the management introduced uh, a fully customized internet hosted internet um, in-house portal where that takes care of the handling of all the data transactions, which I have given some figures. Uh, there are 600 customized menu items developed in this to suit our needs 
which is fully customized. All the 7,000 users, including the contact uh, employees of service provider, have been given access to that. On an average, daily 400 to 500, 450 logins are happening for them. And then they are taking that 1,300 plus uh, transactions are happening there. In that 1300, this 120 Kaisens is a highlight for, from our side, which is close to 20.4 is the Kaizen index per person, per employee, uh, per year. And that's a great achievement, what we could say from our side. Once we started this basic levels of one and two, what I was referring, the sustenance of that is becoming more important. There are some initiatives we took for the sustenance. One such is ensuring safe and comfortable pleasant workplace. Where the workplace is safe, they will have enough time to think and then innovate. For that sustenance, when we say, uh, this one I said, no, that thinking differently, thanks to Tanvi, she was telling that uh, thinker thinking differently in that six, seven roles. Uh, ensuring that the morale uh, related Kaizen's or 54% is that which takes care of entirely on the ease of operation, ease of maintenance, and ease of services. If I am giving importance to this and then rectifying all those issues related to these three, then the time is utilized for innovation and then more and more ideas on PQC is coming. And then overall PQC ideas put together is coming to 24, 25%, which is a great achievement from our side. The abnormality identified is what the thing, whatever we identify, the, com the employees, the workplace, uh, soft floor employees, when they say, they will be telling, we have to rectify all those abnormalities immediately. That means we are heard, that confidence we are giving to the team, which helps us in time support with the resources, providing resources. And the participation from that is important. Normally we do these campaigns uh, through different team-based items, which is something different today. What is that approach? We will be continuing that. And this is one more A to Z. What is your Kaizen today? To make them think and then contribute towards improvement. Another area is every Tuesday and Thursday, the entire senior management team between 9 to 10 in the morning spend their time in the shop floor. A schedule is sent and then they have been visiting there. The only agenda is to appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. With that, the correct reward and recognition scheme, if we supported by that, current year, uh, the current reward and recognition scheme is designed for four years, which takes care of monthly, weekly, and then quarterly rewards, Kaizen's, as well as many more categories like this, uh, safety, and then monetary benefit Kaizen, the role models, the pillar Kaizen's, all those things. So entire thing is designed for four years, and this uh, is the last year recognition. Through that 500 level best Kaizen awards have been given to six, uh, 1,247 individuals, which is a mix of ESPs as well as the employees. The another thing is when we move to the achievement of level one, level two, and level three, each achievement is celebrated in shop floor. When the teams achieve level three, their family members are brought to the shop floor and then showcase what their uh, better offs are done in that shop floor. That is showcased and then which builds uh, another level of motivation to the team members. The capability building on this uh, is the shop floor members, whoever is showing more interested, they have been uh, encouraged to be, become role models. There is a standard, uh, well-structured process of selecting role models. We select them and then become they, we certify them as role models. As on this, uh, today, the system is having 132 role models. They, all the role models, by design, we are making them as uh, yellow belts by giving the inputs on DMAC methodology to make them enable solve their own problems at soft floor level. Uh, they have so far solved 380 plus uh, projects at their level, which talks about that ease of operation, ease of maintenance, ease of services. And then there are to, so much of uh, toll downs of uh, internal Kaizen competitions have been organized. And then they have been rec uh, recognized 
through that winners. The winners of these Kaizen such Kaizen competitions are sent to participate in the regional, state level, and then national level. Once an exam, one such example is here. Uh, one team from PM5, uh, or one of the machine, got uh, all regional, state level, regional level, and national level uh, recognition for their Kaizen. To support that, on a continuous training learning mode, we have total 32 training rooms which can cater somewhere from 20 to 40 um, seating Mr. capacity. Mr. sorry to interrupt. I think it's time because he is also to speak, I think. So we have continuing that training uh, for imparting the skill, technical skills and then the hands-on experience. We have a cut model sessions in the Vidyalaya we call and then we have that set up. Uh, to learn practically. All the training packs to support that technical teaching sessions, we have an in-house internet-based uh, topics uh, hosted there in that, which is PSPD Vidyalaya, we say. Uh, this is uh, one area where the employee involvement is again there, which gives us the benefit of operation, knowing about the maintenance, and then the maintenance team knowing about the operations. Uh, this paper is specifically uh, have been already presented by us in one of the IPTA forum, uh, which is in 2014, this was a separate paper presented by me. Uh, common training programs for managers continuing as this slide, thanks to DP uh, Roy, who has already touched upon this, uh, who has given on the uh, division level, we are developing black belts and green belts to solve the complex problems. And one more thing is teaching Tuesdays and Saturdays are sharing Saturdays, which continues to give the technical sessions as well as the behavioral and attitude related sessions. 